This villain is trying to kidnap JJ and Mikey. So we need to build secret bases to keep them safe. Who can keep their base hidden for longer? Oh my goodness, Louie. I can't believe there's an evil villain coming to kidnap JJ and Mikey. I know, Pip. And did you know he's going to send his zombie army to take them away when it turns night? Oh, I don't like zombies. Yeah, there's only one way we can survive against a zombie army. If they don't see us at all, they might just walk past and we won't ever have to fight anything. What should we do, Louie? Well, let's build some hidden bases. I think I'll build mine over here, and this one will be to protect JJ. Well, I'll build mine right here, Louie. It's going to be way better than yours. Oh, yeah, right. Let's go ahead and build our entrances to our secret bases and see whose is better. All right, Louie, but I'm sorry to say this. You're going to lose. Oh, no, I'm not. Just watch this, guys. I'm going to make a really, really cool secret entrance for my base. All I have to do is dig down a few blocks into the ground. This is where the entrance chute will be. I'll be able to jump down and get into my base from here. So what I'm going to need is some glue and some spruce logs and leaves. This is so that my entrance looks just like the trees around this area. Just watch this, guys. You will not regret seeing how my base is going to work if I make some extension poles coming down off of this here. I can make an entrance that looks like a tree. I'm just going to get some obsidian and place it right here so that the tree always stays up here on top of this obsidian block. And now what I have to do is get a motor to power this thing. So let's just build it into the wall a few blocks away right here. Then I need to get a gear shift, place it right there, and place the motor going inside of it just like this. Now I can use a redstone link that connects to one on the outside. And when I activate this thing, it should make the piston come up into the air. Come on and whoa! Now I can actually make the secret entrance to my base. I'm going to get some super glue in my hands. I'm going to build a three by three tree shape like this. This way, it will look like it's just a tree that's part of the forest. This is pretty good, guys. And now all I have to do is just add some leaves on the top to make this seem like a tree that's just in the middle of the forest. So let's just add some leaves on top of this thing to make it blend into the forest around. If I build this good enough, those zombies won't even know that I'm here. Now let's just make this look like a tree by adding some blocks going up into the sky. And there we go. We now have a secret looking tree. And watch this, guys. If I take the super glue out and press this lever, it'll pull the tree back down into the ground. And this now works as a secret entrance. I just need to add one more piston pole to this thing so that it goes up a little bit higher. I'll put it right here. Now now watch this. If I deactivate this lever and then reactivate it, the whole tree goes all the way up into the sky. I can then go into my secret entrance and close it behind me. This is awesome. My secret base is going to look so cool. I just dug out this hole right here and I'm going to put ghost blocks all around it with real grass blocks right next to it. And I'm going to cover it up with a bunch of ferns. So these ferns will tell me that my secret base is right here. So I just go down this hole and now I'm in my secret base. Let's just put ladders up here so I can get in and out of my secret base. All right, Louie, I'm done. Do you think you can find my secret base? Well, let me take a look around here. I don't see anything right now. It's, uh, I don't know. Wait a second, let me think. There's uh, some grass here. And Wait, what's with this massive bush here, Pip? Oh, uh, I, I don't know, Louie. That must just be a really big bush. Um, let me see. And whoa, whoa! Uh, wait. Pip, I think I found your secret base. Good job, Louie. Wait, do you think it's secret enough to survive the zombies? I think it's pretty good, Pip. But how about you come and take a look at my secret entrance and see if you can find it? Oh, I'll be able to find this entrance so easily, Louie. Come on. Uh, you said you were building it around here. Um, Pip? You just walked right past the lever. Wait, does this have something to do with it? Yep. How about you press that lever, Pip, and watch what happens. Okay, well, let me press this lever, and nothing's happening. Nothing except what's behind you. Wait, what's behind me? Wait, what? 
Yep, I put my secret base underneath a tree, which means I can have whatever I want down here and none of the zombies will know. <laughs> How did you do this, Louis? This is so cool. Well, that's because I'm a redstone genius, but we could probably do with getting rid of this lever and making it more secret. Yeah, Louis, this lever is super obvious. Is that villain super smart? That is his superpower, super smartness. And I think I've got an idea on how we can make it less obvious to the villain. Look, I'll put a secret lever right here and I'll place this redstone link on the side of this block. Now this dirt block works as a lever. Oh, that's so cool, Louie. This super villain super smartness isn't going to work now. But did you know that I also have super smartness? What? Um, yeah, I don't believe that for a second, Pip. You aren't super smart. Yes, I am, Moody. Why else would my head be so big? Um, because you look very silly. That's why your head's so big. Louie, I don't look silly. And even if I did look silly, it's what's on the inside that counts, not the outside. <laughs> yeah, Pip, you have a big head, but there isn't anything on the inside. That's why you're so dumb. <laughs> Louie, if I was dumb, how would I have made such a cool secret base? <laughs> All right, well, I have to give you that. It did take me a while to find the entrance to this base, so it is pretty good. But wait a second. How about this, Pip? We have our own secret entrances, but how about we connect the secret bases underneath? That sounds like a good idea, Louie. All right, you get into your secret base and start digging towards mine over here. I'm going to make some space under the ground where we can build. I just need to get inside my base again. Here we go. All right, Louie. I'm getting my diamond pickaxe so I can mine faster. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and use world edit command because I'm such a pro. I'll go from this corner of my secret base all the way over to your secret base. And now all I have to do is right click on the ceiling and do slash slash replace not air air. And boom! Look at all this space we have underneath our secret bases. Whoa, Louie. Oh, you using these magic powers of yours are so useful. Yep. I do love using world edit commands. It makes me feel so smart. But look, Pip, I can also add a nice wall to this place too. So we have a really nice area to put JJ and Mikey inside. Look, I'm going to make the walls out of iron block like this. Whoa, this looks kind of cool, Louie. Oh, I feel like we should have used reinforced dirt instead, though. No, Pip. Pip, we should not use reinforced dirt. If we use that, our base will be really weak because dirt is just really weak compared to iron. Oh, whatever, Louis. What are we going to do next? Let me show you. I'm going to turn the walls into yellow and red so that we have all of our favorite colors down here. Oh, it almost looks like McDonald's down here. Yep, and that's the best part. We're now building our secret base together so we could put a McDonald's down here. But now we have all of these walls in, let me also add a nice little floor in. I'm going to make this out of smooth stone, just like this. But let's also go ahead and do that for the roof as well. This will make it look a little bit nicer. Let's actually go ahead and replace all of the dirt with smooth quartz blocks. Whoa! We did miss a few spots though, so let's fill them all in. Oh, Louie, your magic powers be messing up sometimes. Yeah, I'm sorry, Pip. I'm not exactly incredible with world edits. It does take a while to get the hang of. But how about this? Let's make the walls going into your secret entrance out of quartz too. And we should leave the roof out of dirt, sadly, because we need to make sure that the villain can't find it. And the more dirt, the better for your base. Yeah, Louie. Dirt is the best block in the game, after all. Well, it's not the best block in Minecraft, but I will say it's very good for camouflaging your base. There we go. We made the walls out of smooth quartz blocks. Now let's do the same on the other side where my secret entrance is. Let's also make sure to leave the top out of grass blocks as well, just so that it blends in when the tree comes back down, like this. But now I didn't think about it. How am I going to get into my base? Um, we'll just jump down, Louie. Yeah, but Pip, if we jump down, we'll take a ton of fall damage. So what should we do? You did just dig out in this hole. Wait, 
Louie, what if we put water or slime blocks down here to catch our fall? Wait, that's a good idea. How about this? We can make this two in one. So we can also have this as a swimming pool too. And it'll also break our fall when we fall in. Let's make these walls out of quartz like this. And then we will fill up this pool with a ton of water. And it'll be really good. Let's also fill up the bottom like this in this tile shape with some iron and quartz. How about you do me the honest pip and put the water in. Oh, Louie, this is going to be the best bird bath ever! Oh. Woohoo! This is awesome! So let's see how this works. If I jump in, I'll land straight in the swimming pool. This is cool! But wait a second, Pip, what about your side? You just have some ladders coming down that drop you into the base too. Oh, Louie, can't I just make one giant ladder up? Well, that would actually be a really good idea. This can be our way out, and my way will be the way in. That's a good idea, Louie. Let's do it. Oh. Let me just cut these ladders. All right, good job. And then what should we do? Because we have our entrances now, but we don't have anything inside. Oh, we need to put the best base ever in here, Louie. Yeah, you're right, Pip. But what kind of things should we put? I think I definitely do want a restaurant in here so I can eat. Oh, Louie, I want bedrooms, bathrooms, kitchens. And everything you can think of. What? You know what, Pip? Let's start on your ideas first. Let's go ahead and make a bathroom first. Because what is a secret base without somewhere you can take secret poops? Oh, yeah, Louie. I love taking secret poops. Especially in your house. What? Wait, in my house? Yep, Louie. Under the kitchen table, under the couch, under your bed. What? So that wasn't a raccoon in my base? That was you? I mean, I was in a raccoon. Costume. Oh, no. You know what, Pip? Let's just stop talking about this now. I don't want to know about your poop in my base anymore. But anyways, let's go ahead and dig out a little section with my admin command. And this will be our bathroom. Oh, Louie, this bathroom is looking kind of dirty right now. We need to spice this up. Yeah, you're right. But how should we spice this bathroom up? What should we build the floor out of? Oh, I know exactly what to build it out of, Louie. Oh, wait, why are you holding diamond blocks? See this block in my hand? We're not going to build out of this. We're going to build out of dirt. Ew. You know what, Pip? You can build a bathroom out of dirt, and I'll actually build a sanitary bathroom out of actually good blocks. Oh, Louie, no one's going to want to use your sanitary bathroom. Yes, they are, Pip. You just have to wait and see. My viewers would love to use this bathroom. Right, guys? Just wait until I'm finished and then comment that mine's better so Pip sees it. So here we go. Let's go ahead and do the floor out of this quartz block. After all, bathrooms always have really clean white floors to show that they are really clean. Now, I'll build the walls out of red concrete like this. This means that it's really, really cool. And it's also my favorite color, which means I'll always like to use this bathroom. What is your favorite color, guys? Comment down below. And Make sure to subscribe if it's red to be a Louie legend. I'll just do this last wall at the back, and I really doubt Pips is going to be any better than mine. I'm also going to use some white quartz for the ceiling, too. So I have a white floor and a white ceiling. This is pretty cool. All right, Pip, let me see what the inside of your bathroom looks like. Ew. Wait, what's wrong, Louie? I'm just putting down the carpet right now. Wait, let me see what's going on here. You've added a carpet? A shower at, um, chest height for some reason. And you've added a toilet floating in the sky? What are you even thinking? Oh, Louie, who doesn't love a toilet in the sky? Um, me? How am I supposed to sit on it? I have to jump to pee. Well, Louie, maybe you could lose a few pounds in the bathroom while you're at it. What? I don't want to exercise. I don't like exercising. Oh, Louie, maybe that's why you're so chunky. What? What do you mean I'm chunky? I work out, you know, sometimes. Um, once a year. Oh, yeah, Louie. I bet you can't even fit inside of my bathtub. Um, I can definitely try. Ah, look, I'm in. Oh, look, Louie, we're holding hands. What? Ew, get me out. Get me out. Why did I just fall through the bottom of your bath? 
Pip. I just fell through the drain. Look, Pip, I just got flushed away. What? Oh, yeah, Louie. I bet your bathroom isn't going to be as good as mine. How about we decide who's the best? Go ahead and make yours. All right. What, are you going to be the judge? Of course, Louie. I'm a great judge. All right. This should be easy. You just stay here, Pip, and I'll be back with the best bathroom you've ever seen. Here I go. I'm not going anywhere, Louie. Trust me, I'll be in my bath forever. Okay, well, you keep doing that while I get some blocks to have in my bathroom. I'm going to use some of these really cool-looking blocks, like these olive stone ones, these are polished basalt bricks, and these little really cool bricks like this. Let's go ahead and build a bathroom counter right here, and I'll also place the toilet in, too. I think I'm going to put mine right here. But anyways, what is a bathroom without a sink? So what I'm going to do is place one down right here. It also has a little cupboard underneath it. So I can put some blocks inside too. Now I'm going to put Pip's favorite thing in the world. A really big mirror. This is really cool looking. But now I need a shower. So I'm going to put a nice big one right here. You know what? I'll put it somewhere a little better than that. I think I'll put it just in the wall here. This would be a better idea than having it in the middle of the bathroom. So let's just break out some blocks here. And put it on the inside. Right there. Look. <laughs> It's awesome! We have a shower inside that area there. And we have the bathroom in here. Let's just put the toilet down just there too. Perfect! Now all I need is another table right here. And let's just do some of these olive stone bricks on the ground like this. To make it just look a little nicer. Now all I have to do is just block off the wall like this. And add a door. So that nobody can see inside from the outside. The last thing I want is someone being seen pooping. Alright, here we go. Well, let's put them right here and done. My bathroom is complete. Oh, Louie, your bathroom is looking really nice. Oh, wait. Pip, where are you? Wait, how are you in there? And why are you looking for secret glass? Oh, I'm not. Not looking through secret glass, Luya. What makes you think that? Um, the fact that I literally saw you looking at me through that glass with your beady eyes. And the fact that I can go in here and I can literally see into your bathroom. Uh, I don't see anything, Louie. I do? Look! Oh, whatever, Louie. I was already watching you take a shower. You look so ugly! You know what, Pip? Look at my bathroom. Then you won't think I'm so ugly. Oh, fine, Louie. Let's see. What's inside of here? Well, first of all, we have this really cool mirror. And I know you love those. Whoa, it's a shower. Oh, this shower is so big. Oh, I love peeing in the shower. Ew, why did you just pee on my bathroom floor? Louie, don't, doesn't everyone pee in the shower? Um, no, I don't pee in the shower. That's weird. Oh, uh, well, there's a drain, and I think it went down the drain, so it's okay. All right. Thankfully, the pee cleared out of my bathroom very quickly, so I don't have to rebuild it all. But anyways, Louie, I think your bathroom is looking really cool. This one is definitely the winner. Yes! Thank you so much, Pip. Now we've built these bathrooms, we need to build some other things. So what do you think we should do? Louie, don't we need a bedroom for Mikey and JJ? Wait, you actually make a good point there, Pip. Mikey and JJ won't be comfortable in here without some rooms of their own. Well, how about we build them right now? Build them over here on uh, my side, right here. All right, sounds good. How about this? You can have some space for Mikey room over here, and I'll build JJ's room just over here. Well, that sounds like a plan, Louie. Let me just dig out all of this stone. This ugly stone. Wait, why are you digging it out manually with your hands? You could just use an axe and use those pro world edit commands, Pip. Oh no, Louie. I dig way faster than world edit. Oh, really? Well, look at all the space you've cleared out, and um, boom, look at all the space I've cleared out. Um, I've cleared... Uh, the same area too, Louie. Oh, you haven't! You've cleared out one, two, three, four blocks across. Well, I've cleared out one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you get the gist. Um, Louie, I think you counted wrong. I count six blocks. Well, that's just because you dug more out. Anyways, Pip, let's stop dawdling and get building. I'm going to build the floor of this room out of smooth stone. What about you? Oh, I'm going to build Mikey's room out of green wool since he loves the color green. I guess that is pretty good. Let me help 
you out. This wool will be very nice for Mikey. Yep, and since he's a turtle, he's probably lime and green. So I'm going to build half of this floor out of lime wool as well. All right, let me help you out a little bit. And that should be pretty good. There we go. Half lime, half green. Wait, I just realized I haven't built my walls yet. And I think I'll do that out of red concrete like I did with the bathroom. So let me go ahead and use my admin commands to set this to red concrete. Just like this. I can do it on this wall as well. And I can do it on this wall too. Look at that. I placed all of the walls in super fast. I'm like the Flash, guys. Well, Louie, I'm going to build my room out of yellow concrete. Oh, wait, why? Because, Louie, if I made it out of green concrete, it would look green everywhere. And that doesn't look very good. So I'm going to build the walls out of yellow. I guess so. I mean, this is your favorite color after all, but I don't think it's Mikey's favorite color. Oh, well, it's about to be Mikey's favorite color after this. All right, there we go. You have a green green floor and a yellow wall and Wait, I didn't even put a roof in. Let me put my roof out of red concrete too. Boom. Look, we now have our rooms ready to go. We have to build the insides of them. So how about you build your side for Mikey? I'll build my side for JJ. And then we will compare rooms. All right, Louie, let's start now. Let me just copy your base. Wait, wait, why are you copying mine? Is it because you know it's going to be better? <laughs> no, Louie, because mine looks way better in yellow. Ew, no it doesn't. Mine looks way better. Especially considering I'm about to add some nice glass to it. And I'm going to add a door on the front like this. What do you think of that, Pip? Oh, Louie, well, my door is going to be way better. It's going to be a keypad door. And only Mikey and me know the password. Wait, what? Why didn't I think of that? You know what? I'm just gonna um, borrow this. Thank you very much. And put it here. Wait, Louie, why did you steal my idea? Um, because it was actually a really good idea for one. I didn't actually copy you, by the way. I just, um, took, uh, inspiration. Yeah, inspiration is just another word for copying. No, it's not. Anyways, my password is going to be completely different. It's going to be one, two, three, four. Wait, Louie, that's my password. You're copying me. Uh, no, I didn't know it was your password, I swear. Oh, whatever, Louie. And that super villain guesses my password password, I guess he's going to be able to break into your room as well. Oh, it's fine, because that super evil villain is not going to find our base. I really doubt it. Let me just go inside of JJ's room, and I can get started on putting things inside. What are you going to do, Pip? Oh, my inside is going to be amazing. It's going to be a beautiful bedroom. All right, we'll see about that. I'm going to start on the entertainment straight away, because I know that JJ loves watching TV. Well, I'll put a nice little sofa right here so that he can watch whatever he wants. Let me also go ahead and put a TV screen right here with the TV on. This is really cool. And I just finished up my bed. I added three beds because Mikey loves bunk beds. Put a little chest right next to his bed so he can put his clothes in. I know he doesn't wear clothes, but maybe he'll need them anyway. But now it's time to work on my entertainment center. Let's go ahead and put a couch right there. And we're going to add a massive TV. Because Mikey loves watching TV. And look, I'm holding the TV so weirdly. Anyways, let's go ahead and add a bird bath in the corner. I love bird baths. And I'm sure Mikey would love a turtle bath. Uh, do turtles take baths, guys? Comment down below. But I also want to add a Nintendo Switch so me and Mikey can play Mario Kart. Let's go ahead and add the Nintendo Switch right Right here, and now my entertainment system is complete. Well, let's just turn on this TV and <gasps> the farming channel. But now I've completed my TV, I'm going to go ahead and add a PC that JJ can play his Minecraft games on. So I'll put one right here, and I'll put a nice PC in the middle here. Let me just turn this thing around, too. Now all I need is some seats. This way, JJ's entire family can play video games on his computer. I'll also go ahead and add some bookshelves in. This way, JJ can read books if his family really needs to use the PC. And 
Now, let me add a couple more things to this bedroom. Mikey loves pretending to be superhero, so I'm going to add a Superman costume right in the corner because Mikey loves being Superman. I also want to have a friend in his room. Let's go ahead and add a turtle to his room. And now there's a pet turtle in here. Mikey loves turtles, so surely he'll love this one. But now let's go ahead and add a flower pot in the corner of the room. And now my room is absolutely complete. Well, actually, let's just add a quick painting. Let's just add one right there. And now it's actually complete. Now that my PC is complete, it's time to go ahead and add a bed for JJ's family. And where better to put it than all the way up here on this massive podium. So let's go ahead and get some red beds like this. I'll put one right here, one here, and then one here. So JJ's entire family can sleep next to each other. This room is so cool. I'm also going to add a fence in as well so they don't accidentally fall through this hole. Now all I need is a staircase going up and we are done. This bedroom is looking amazing. JJ is going to love it here. But now let's go out and let's build something new. Pip, are you done with your room? Yep, yeah, Louie. Do you want to see inside? Oh, don't worry. I already know what the inside looks like. Wait, how do you know what it looks like? Did you use one-way glass? No, because I watched the video. We're recording this video right now. How are you watching it while recording it? Um, I totally don't have your point of view on my other monitor right now. Wait, so you were watching me take that poop earlier? Uh, no. Why would I do that? Ew. Oh, Louie, you're weird. What? No, you're even weirder, Pip. Anyways, we need to build some more things in here. So we built our bathrooms and our bedrooms. What next? Oh, Louie. Well, all this building has really gotten me hungry. So maybe we should make a kitchen. Wait, that's a really good idea. But instead of building a kitchen, why don't we build a restaurant in the middle of this place? <gasps> oh, Louie, since we're red and yellow, we should make a McDonald's. Yep, that sounds good. Look. I'm going to build out a square shape like this. This will be the shape of our McDonald's. And we need to make it look like a McDonald's. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some fences. Since this can't look like an actual McDonald's, we should make it look like a kind of small stand. All we have to do now is just go red and yellow like this around the outside. This will let anyone on the outside know that this is a McDonald's. Oh, Louie, can we serve seed burgers? Um, I think we could. Maybe. Let me just fill in all of these areas here so that this looks just about right. We need to make the top of this stand attached to each side just like this so that it doesn't look too weird. This should be okay. Let's just do it in a grid pattern like this. This will also work as the roof so that anybody can get a McDonald's if they really want one. And boom! What do you think, Pip? Oh, Louie, it looks so good! Just like this food we are going to make. How about we do that right now? Let's add a ton of food to this place. All right, Louie, I'll start on the kitchen. How about you make something uh, super cool? You can always come up with super cool stuff. Oh, yes, I can. And you are about to be absolutely shocked by what I'm going to build, Pip. Just you wait. I'm going to go to a mod called the Create Mod, and this allows me to make really cool devices. I'm going to use a motor like that. And I'm going to use this thing called a weighted ejector. Now, I just need some mechanical belts, too. Now, watch this, guys. If I put a motor right here and a motor right over here, I can put a motor right here that makes this ejector go really, really cool. Look at this. If I throw a block on top, it'll throw it. So if I go ahead and do this, I can choose where the target is going to be, and that'll be right here. Now watch this, guys. If I put my ejector here and throw a block on top, it'll shoot the item across the kitchen. Now what I need to do is add a motor on one side right here, and then a shaft on this side of it, a shaft at the end of the kitchen on this side. And then I need to connect them up with mechanical belts. Now look at this, Pip. Look at what we have. What are you even making, Louie? It looks so cool. I'm making this kitchen look incredible. 
I'm adding some belts that go from one side of the kitchen to the other and then shoot the food onto the other belt. So the food just cycles around the kitchen. I'll also put another one of these ejectors right here and I'll shoot the item right over here. Let's just put my ejector here and let's add a motor to the back of it to make it work. Just like this. Now, Pip, how about you go ahead and throw some food on this thing? All right, Louie, I'll throw my favorite foods. Don't put rotten flesh and seeds! Ew! Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. Look, it shoots the food across the kitchen onto the conveyor, and then this one does the same thing. As you can see, the food flies around the kitchen. This is so cool! Oh, Louie, when customers see that our food flies around, they're going to want to eat at our restaurant. Yep, and how about this? So that we can take some customers into our restaurant, let's also add some tables around. I'm going to make them out of this really cool stripped oak wood. And I'll place them just like this. It's going to be like a sushi restaurant with all the food going on conveyor belt. Well, Louie, we really need to add more food. It's only one seed on here. So how about we throw more seeds? What are you doing? You're overloading the machine. Whoa! No, I'm not, Louie. Look at it. It's fine. There's so many seeds on the machine right now. This is crazy. Oh, Louie, we need more food. I'm going to throw cake and rice. Flesh. Oh my gosh, no, Pip. This is really bad. You're actually overloading the machine now. Look. And maybe some poop. <laughs> You're putting poop on the conveyor belts? No. Our customers won't want to eat this. And I'll even do it on this side because it looks like it's getting stuck on the other side. Oh, no. Well, you know what? While you do that, I guess I'll just get some seats for this restaurant and I'll make them red and green, just like JJ and Mikey. So let me put some seats over here, and boom. And I even just threw a shower on it, Louie. What? You put a shower on the conveyor belt? That'll kill a worker as it comes past. Look, it might just smack me in the face. Well, then get out of the way, Louie. Um, all right. This is stupid. <laughs> How in the world did you do this, though? Well, Louie, maybe someone wants a shower while in our restaurant. You know what? No, I'm taking the shower off. I'm taking the shower off. There we go. Phew, but wait, why is there a toilet on that, too? Oh, Louie, maybe we need more showers. No, Pip, stop. You're overloading the machine. Wait. Why isn't it working anymore? Oh, Pip, you should know. Look, it's so heavy that the conveyor belt can't move anymore. Look how slow it's going. Push it. Come on, push. Pip, that's not going to work. Look, we have to take the showers off. Come on, help me. All right, there we go. I got rid of the showers and... Hopefully, this conveyor belt can speed up again. Whoa! It's zooming! And, oh, oh no. Oh no, Pip, stop putting showers on this thing! Get rid of them! I didn't put that down, that was already there! All right, it's gone now. Thankfully, this should be just fine now. Now, let's actually put some real food on here. Like some cooked chicken, and some steak. And also some of these steamed clams and some steamed crab. This is like a really cool restaurant. Wait, Louie, why are you putting chickens down? Because I want to. Look, they can go on my machine. Look, I'll put them right here. Woohoo! Louie, they don't like your machine. Well, it seemed like it did. Look, it stayed on the conveyor belt a second ago. I got shot to the other side. It's so funny. Oh, Louie, you know what? Uh, that's fine because this place looks really cool. Yep, I agree with you, Pip. This is awesome looking. How about we start building the next thing inside of our base? What should we build, Louie? Well, since our entrances are right here, how about we add some traps so that if any zombies get inside, they will die. That's a great idea, Louie. What kind of trap should we put? I'm not sure just yet, but how about we add some walls that keep the zombies from getting straight into the base so they have to walk to the end of these hallways and get into these doors here. Oh, Louie, what if we replace this water with fake water? Wait, but Pip, that would make my entrance completely useless. I mean, we always have a ladder. Well, how about this, Louie? We keep this real water pool right here, but then over here, we add another pool with fake water. Wait. 
great, good idea. The zombies might decide to take a swim in this water, and then they will die. All right, let's clear out all of the blocks inside of here, and let's get building. So I'll make the walls and floor out of smooth quartz blocks like this. Here we go. And do me a favor, Pip, and get that fake water in here. All right, little dewey. I hope this super villain loves water. <laughs> Perfect. This is really, really good. And just to remind us, this is the fake pool. Let's just go ahead and put some red inside of it. So we know that it's fake. Yep, Louie, and I'll put some lime wool under this pool. Because green is good and red is bad. Well, red is a good color. It's not my fault that it's associated with such terrible things. But now, Pip, we've got these pools placed down. Let's also add some spikes in order to stop these zombies from getting through if they really, really try. Oh, you're right, Louie. Let's put spikes in the pool. Wait, that's a good idea, too. Let's do it. Well, now that this entrance is secure, Louie, what should we do with the other one? Let's go ahead and see how much space we have. This looks like we could do a really good trap here. Look at this, Pip. If we put some lava back here, we can make a lava pitfall trap right here. This is a good idea. Yeah, it's a good idea. There's no way to get the zombies to jump into the lava unless we use these fans. Let's go ahead and put three fans right here with a lever on top and some redstone dust. This means we can power this like a really cool device. Now, imagine I'm a zombie, Pip. I'm going to climb down here, and when I get here, you'll blow me in, and oh my gosh, a uh, chicken just died! No! Uh, don't worry about that, Pip. We'll get him back. But now this is here, we can also add something else to our base. Let's put a chest up here with some sticky boots. This means when we walk into the fans, we won't get blown around. Look, I'll put some sticky boots on myself right now and try and blow me with those fans, Pip. Oh, time to blow away, Louie. This is for all those times you killed me. Yep, it didn't work, Pip. And now I can just jump, jump, jump. No! Um, Louie, I don't think those sticky boots are working. Oh, uh, well, they may not have worked, but now they do. Look, I can jump up onto this block, and now we can get out of the trap. Well, Louie, this is perfect. Those zombies will never get in. Yep, with our fan trap and this fake water over here, there's nothing those zombies could ever do to get in. But wait a second, Pip. I have one more really good idea. What is your idea, Louie? How about instead of having these spikes, we do something even cooler? I'm going to get a piston like this and some extension poles. Now watch this, Pip. I'm going to place this mechanical piston right here, and I'm going to connect it to one of these gear shifts and a motor, like this. Well, yeah, but what is this supposed to do, Louie? Well, you'll see in a second. Watch this, Pip. If I go ahead and get rid of all of this wall here, I could place some black iron blocks so that we know this is going to be pushed by the piston. I'll also get some glue, too, so all of the blocks stick together. But wait a second, Louie. If this block is connected to the piston, are all of these blocks going to move at the same time? Yep, you are getting the hang of it, Pip. These blocks are all going to move at the same time, which means we can have a massive moving wall that pushes all the zombies back. Oh, Louie, is it going to crush the zombies? Yep, it definitely will. Let's just attach it all to a redstone link. Then we can make this trap really work. I'll just attach it to a lever like this. And now all I have to do is go back here and attach this gear shift at the back to one of these redstone links. Then I'll set it to receiving mode like this. And I'll go around here and I'll attach it here. Now when I press this lever, it should activate this machine. But it won't work until I add a ton of extension poles at the back. So let's do that. I'll go ahead and add all of these extension poles onto this thing. It needs to go really far back, though. I think this many will do. Let's see if this works. All right, Pip, go ahead. Press the lever and see what that wall does. Oh, I want to see all these zombies die. <gasps> Woohoo! This is so cool, Louie. 
If only I could kill a few more blocks and absolutely crush the zombie. Yeah, we could do that. Let me just place about five more piston things on the back. And go ahead, Pip. If we press this twice again, it should go all the way to the end now. Oh, uh, Louie, let's test this on a cow real quick, Louie. And let's see if it gets crushed. All right, go ahead, Pip. Press the button. Die, cow, die. <gasps> My gosh, that cow is dead. Oh, no. Pip, look. The meat just flew out of the wall. Oh, my. You are a murderer. Really? Just close the door. Close the wall. All right, fine. Let me do that. I'll just flick this lever again to make it all come back. And then let's close off my base with this little door. Oh, my God, Louie. Look, the cow. Its blood is all over. Whoa. Um, let's just clean that up. That spot is reserved for zombie blood only. Well, Louie, I feel like we're missing something super important. We don't have an armory. Wait, that's actually a really good point, Pip. Without armor, we can't even fight the zombie army. So how about we build it right here? Let's make it nice and long, too. And I'll surround it with iron blocks so that it's very, very secure. What about that? Oh, this is super good, Louie. Let's just dig a little bit more. Just a couple more blocks. And now I think it's just about complete. Nice. We have a ton of space on the inside. Let's just mine it out one or two blocks more. We definitely need to make sure there's enough space in here. Especially if we are adding a ton of things. Oh, you're right, Louie. The more space, the better. All right. How about this, Pip? On this side, this will be my side of the armory. And you have... Have your side of the armory with some yellow concrete. Then we can put our favorite armor on each side. I'm also going to make my floor out of this red glazed terracotta. Doesn't this look really cool? Did you know, Pip, that these terracotta blocks cannot be pushed by pistons? I didn't know that, Louie. Oh, I, I should use those too. Whoa, yours look really cool. It looks like the seeds on yours. Oh yeah, Louie, I love seeds. Wait a second, but look at this, Pip. If you play them in different directions, you can make patterns. That's actually really cool. Wait, let me try this out. If I place one here, here, and here, it makes like a really cool looking pattern in the middle. I'm going to place a ton of these patterns in. So let me just use my admin commands and set this to all of these really cool patterns. Whoa! Let me do that for you as well, Pip. This is going to look really awesome on your side. Let's see how this looks, Louie. I hope it looks way better than how it looks right now. And boom! Look at that! Why does this look so good? I don't know, Pip, but all I know is that we are going to be able to build some really cool-looking armory rooms right now. Oh, you're right, Louie. Let me go ahead and start on my armor. All right, while you do that very quickly, I'm going to replace some of the roof with red and yellow terracotta blocks. Watch this. I'll set it to clipboard and boom! Oh, the roof looks really nice. But let me go ahead and add my weather armor. Wait, weather armor? Pip, you always make this mistake. You put down leather armor, which is the worst in the game. But you said it was the best in the game. No, I didn't say leather armor was the best. I said nether armor is the best, which is exactly what I'm about to put on my armor stands. Nether right armor. Just like this. This is what really good armor looks like, Pip. Oh, Louie, your armor looks poopy. No, it doesn't. Your armor looks more like poop than mine. Oh, well, I guess you're kind of right. Yeah, I am very, very right, Pip. This is some of the worst armor I've ever seen. Let's not dilly-dally. Let's put some chests down with our favorite armor and weapons inside. What are you going to put in your chest, Pip? Oh, I'm just adding the best weapons and food you can have. Um, what kind of food is that, Pip? Oh, well, it's just Look in this chest. I'm about to place it in. Um, which chest are you talking about? This bottom one? No, Louie, the top one. All right, let me look in here. And now I've got the food. Let's go ahead and place it in. Wait. Ew! Rotten flesh, spider eyes, and seeds? Pip, you disgust me. That's not all, Louie. I'm also putting in some yummy ink sacs. Wait, ink sacs? They're disgusting! Ew! Oh, Louie, they're super yummy. They're like those fish eggs that 
rich people love to eat. Oh, wait, you're talking about roe. No, it's it's not roe, Louis. What is a roe? I'm talking about caviar. Oh, caviar. You should know that not all fish eggs are caviar, though, Pip. Oh, sure they are, Louis. Just look at my ink sacs. Um, I don't know about that. They seem like ink sacs, not fish eggs. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put my favorite food in my chest. And that is very simple. It's enchanted golden apples because they keep you alive and they don't let you die. Then I'm also going to put some swords inside of my chest. And I think I'm going to use... Hmm, what do I want? Wait, I have a good idea. I'll use this phantasmal blade, which shoots a spinning sword out of it. Look at this. Wait, how did you get that, Louis? I went into the creative menu. And look, it goes through blocks as well. So if I go all the way over here and look at your name tag, Pip, just stay right there. Ah, yeah! Yeah! Ow! 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 I can shoot you through the wall with my sword, which means I can just sit under the base and do this and hit zombies from below. Oh, Louis, when those zombies come, watch where you're aiming that thing. All right, I will, Pip. But anyways, I put my blades inside of this chest, but now I need one more thing, and that is a ranged weapon. And I know exactly what I'm going to use. I'm going to search... A fishing rod? No, I'm not going to use a fishing rod. I'm going to use this OP Dark Matter minigun. Because miniguns are super strong. Have you ever played GTA 5? No, Louis, I don't play ATG 5. I don't know what that is. Well, it's a really crazy game. And you can get a minigun in it that is super strong. And this is exactly the same thing. Oh, Louis, I don't need a minigun. Just look at my fishing rod. Whoa, wait. Your fishing rod is on fire. Yep, Louis. Just look at it. It's a molten fishing rod. Molten fishing rod. Can I drag you around with this thing? Wait, no, oh, I can't. Oh. Are you kidding me? Well, you, Louis, I'm using it to burn the zombies. Pip, you should know that fishing rods don't work as a weapon in Minecraft. They won't kill the zombies. It might just tickle them, though. Oh, no, it'll kill them, Louis. Just you watch. Okay, Pip. Well, you leave your weapons in there, and let's see who's the best when the villain attacks. But wait a second. How long have we been building down here? It's been quite a while, I think. Well, it shouldn't be too long, Louis. All right, Pip, follow me. Let's go to the surface and see what's going on. And uh, oh, wait a second. I just realized, Pip, it's nighttime. Oh, no, Louis. I think we need to get JJ and Mikey in their bedroom. Yeah, the sun is going down and the moon is coming up. Come on, JJ. We've got to get inside before that villain attacks. Well, hello, Louis YT. Thank you for hiring me for one billion days. All right, come on. Follow me, JJ. We're going in right now. Pip, you should take him in through my entrance. It's a lot easier. Here we go. Let's open it up. And let's get JJ in there. We might just need to give him a nudge, though. Yeah. Yeah. Get in there, JJ. P push Mikey. Oh, come on, Mikey. Stop chasing me. Stop walking him around. Just push him in, Pip. Stop. He's chasing me. Oh, wait. Push him in. Okay. Uh, wait, you might need to push him in a tiny bit more. There we go. Mikey and JJ are now inside of our base. All right, Louie, I'm coming down. Let me just close this and run at the same time. Go, go, go. Hop in, Pip. Come on, go. Nice job. You closed the door behind you and got inside. Oh, I'm such a pro, Louie. And look, they're swimming in the pool. Yeah, they're really enjoying it, but... We should probably tell them that that pool is a dangerous one. Oh, yeah. Luckily, they aren't swimming in the deadly pool. Yeah. How about this? Let's get them into their bedrooms now. Come okay. on, guys. Stop swimming and start sleeping. There we go. JJ got out. Let's bring him into the room now. Come on. And here we go. This is JJ's room. Let's just put him in here. Come on, JJ. Get in. Where are you? Mikey's stuck at the restaurant. He's trying to eat food. We don't have time for that, Mikey. Get up. Wait, what is Mikey doing? Where is he? Why isn't Mikey falling in? Wait, um, Louie? What's going on, Pip? What's Mikey doing? And wait, why is he on the conveyor belt? Get off. Why did you even make this conveyor belt, Louie? It's got Mikey stuck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this, Pip. Look how fast he goes. Whoa. 
Oh, this is kind of funny, but we don't have time to be funny, Louie. Those zombies and super villain are coming any second now. <laughs> All right, listen, I think Mikey is pretty safe like that. I mean, if I'm a zombie, I'll be stuck trying to grab him and I won't be able to. Look, I can't even reach him running at full speed. Come back. Well, maybe you're right, Louie. Maybe Mikey is more safe on the conveyor belt than in his keypad room. Yep. I'll also give him a little friend. There we go. All right, Pip, so we have to prepare for these zombies to attack. So let's go ahead and get our armor on. I'm gonna put my netherite on, get some golden apples, and you know what? I'm going to use this dark matter minigun. It's gonna be insane! I'll also use my phantasmal blades. More like fantastical blade. It's insane! Look, I have some blades spinning in the air like this right oh, now. How did you make that happen? Let me show you. It's actually really simple. Look, if I hit Mikey with a blade, it bounces off of him and comes back. Wait, does that mean Mikey is invincible so all of these weapons just bounce off of him? Yeah, Mikey is invincible to any green weapons like these blades. Look, it bounces off, but if I shoot him with this, it will hurt him. But anyways, Pip, this should be just fine. We have all of our armor together. Let's make sure to set up our traps so that they're working right now. And let's go ahead and make sure everything is ready to go. Oh, I can't wait to kill these zombies. But wait a second, Pip. I think I just switched to survival mode. This is really bad. No, Louie, I'm in survival mode. Don't worry, Pip. Take some of these golden apples. Keep yourself safe. Let's get up there and see how many zombies we have to face. Come on, I hope there's not a lot. Let's see. I'm going to go up and through the roof and hopefully... Wait, there's a lot of them. <gasps> there's a whole army, Pip. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't show them our secret base. Oh, this is really bad. These zombies know that we're here now, so they must know our secret base is nearby. This is really bad, Pip. They've probably told the evil villain that we're here now, so we have nothing left to do but fight. Will we use that minigun of yours? It's so much stronger than your sword. All right, Pip, watch this. hi -ya! Oh, whoa, there's so many zombies. They're attacking. This is crazy. Pip, I might need your help. These zombies are overrunning me. Louie, don't worry. I'll kill them for you. Oh, I need to eat a golden apple right now. I'm taking a lot of damage. You know what, Pip? I don't think we're cut out to fight this zombie army. There's so many of them. Louie, maybe we should try our traps out. Wait, that's a good point. How about this, Pip? Let's get inside of our base right now. Go, go, go. Follow me, Pip. We need to open up the tree and jump inside. Come on. Hop in. Let's go. I'll close it behind us and yo, we're in. Okay, Pip, hopefully this is going to be strong enough. And whoa, all the zombies are running around the pool. Pip, we need to make it so that the zombies have to jump through the water. Let's mine some of these blocks around the outside quick. Come on, zombie, get out of my way. But wait a second, Pip. We mined all of this out, but where are the zombies? Whoa, there are a few, but... It doesn't seem like there's too many of them. Oh, what do we mean? They're all in that pool. Wait, are they? Let me jump across and ow, ow. Wait, you're right. They all drowned in the pool and now they're all down there. But wait a second, Pip, look. They're all climbing back <gasps> out. But they're dying in the fake water. This is perfect. Louie, let's crush them. Get out of the way. All right, I'm out of the way. Push the button, Pip. And boom. It squashed a ton of them, but wait, they got back out. Press the button again. Oh, let me just spam it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, that's actually working really well. It's pulling the zombies into the fake water pool, which is killing them. Good job, Pip. Oh, this is a genius idea, Louie. And wait, watch out. You're pulling them over to our side. Watch out, Pip. If you pull them all the way, it'll send them back here. Louie, there's a bunch of zombies stuck right here. And wait, no. Oh, no. They got inside. Kill them. Kill them. Pip, we need to kill these zombies now. You know what? Leave that wall right there. I'm going to go ahead and slow down this motor really quickly. But why are you slowing it down, Louie? This is just so that we don't have to worry about the zombies. Pip, just quickly press the lever really fast. All right, Louie. And we are going to wait for this wall to get to the perfect spot. Just about there. 
Now we can make this wall go really slow and it'll act like a wall that will slow down the zombies for the time being. Now let's get to this side and check if any zombies get in through this area. Oh, Louis, I thought this base was secure. What happened? Whoa, the zombies came down. Press the fan, Pip. Whoa. Look, it pushed them all into the lava. This is really, really good. Yeah, Louie, and look, all the zombies are jumping down and dying. Perfect. This is awesome. Our base is really, really secure right now. Whoa, look how many just jumped down, Pip. This is crazy. Oh, no. That's a lot of zombies. We might accidentally overload our base. Oh, don't worry, Louie. This base is super secure. Uh, are you sure? Of course, Louie. All the bases we make are super secure. Oh, this is really bad. A, a lot of them are getting through. Oh, my gosh, Pip. Look, this is crazy. Some of the zombies got through, and one of them sat on the restaurant chair. But we have to kill them. Quick. Oh, come on, zombies. It's time to die. And, oh, wait a second. We killed most of them, but there's a little baby zombie sat trying to eat at our restaurant. Oh, the only thing he's going to eat is this arrow. Uh, perfect, Pip. Good job. You know what, Pip? I'm going up to the top. I'm going to fight these zombies right now. Come here. Oh, be careful up there, Louie. All right. Hopefully there's not too many zombies out here and... Wait a second. Where are all the zombies at? <laughs> Wait, what is that noise? And why does it sound like it's coming from behind me? <laughs> I'm here, Louie. And I'm here to kidnap Mikey and JJ. <laughs> Wait a second. Pip Man? Wait, are you Pip? No, it is I, Pip Man. And I'm here to kidnap Mikey and JJ! Whoa! Um, don't hurt me, please! I don't know how strong you are! It's time for you to die, Louis! Oh no, oh no! <laughs> ow, ow! You actually do a bit of damage! I need to get out of here! But Pip Man is so fast! What? Forget about you, Louis! I want Mikey and JJ! No, no, no! You can't have them! Come back! Oh, I need to get inside and oh, come back here, Pip Man! I'm gonna kill you! Ah, uh, come here, Mikey, and wait, what is this device and why is it slowing me down? Wait, Pip Man got stuck on the conveyor belt! Take that! You're not getting Mikey and JJ anytime soon! If you want me to stop, Louie, you're going to have to kill me! Wait. No, no, no! Get away from me! Oh, guys, I have no choice! Die! Die! Wait, what? Die! Oh, you fool! That does no damage! Wait, what? How? Oh, those bullets were so yummy! Give me more! Oh! <laughs> you know what, guys? I think I need to get my secret weapon! I'm pulling out my gun! Take this, you're, Pip Man! You're what? Boom, 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 boom! Oh, what is all that noise oh, out here? It's Pip Man again! Oh, oh, wait, oh, what? Die, die, die. Stop shooting me! Oh, oh, wait. Pip, is that actually you? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I, last time I checked it was. Uh, what happened to that Pip Man guy? Are you sure you're not Pip Man? Uh, Pip Man? Who is Pip Man? Um, the guy who came to kidnap Mikey and JJ and tried to kill us? Well, I thought those were zombies. No, there were zombies, but the real super villain was actually Pip Man. Oh, then what are you worried about, Louie? Aren't we fine then? Wait. I don't actually know. Uh, maybe we should check if it turned daytime. Oh, surely it has, Louie. It's been so long. Yeah, come on, Pip. Follow me. Let's see what time it is. And... Wait. Whoa, it's daytime. We totally just survived. And Pip Man is no more. Perfect. We just saved Mikey and JJ from the evil super villain. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the next video on your screen. Ooh, Pip Dance. Mm, mm, pip Dance. Uh, pip, put your butt away. Oh, whatever. Let's go. Let's go.